Hey guys, it's WB Dreamcast here, and today I'm going to be opening the ball tin uh, for the Match Touch Champions League 2015 16 trading card collection. As uh, so you may have seen a couple of months ago, uh, like long before the UK collection was released, I did upload a Nordic version of this ball tin, uh, thinking that it wouldn't actually be released in the UK. But. Um, I saw it in WH Smith's and I think at the moment it might be a WH Smith exclusive well, I'm not too sure on that uh, but I haven't seen it anywhere else and it's not yet on uh, Tops Direct at the filming of this video uh, so it could be a WH Smith exclusive anyway externally uh, you can see there's absolutely no different and I think the sticker's even the same as the Nordic edition so it'll be interesting to see if they have just shipped over some Nordic ones and uh, the inside is the same as well uh, but yeah, let's get the seal straight off and uh, start seeing if that inside is the same. Alright, so there we go. As the seal comes off, you can see just the ball stadium design with the Champions League stars over it. And then on the bottom, just the match tax logos, as always. Uh, and it opens quite nicely if you just slide it around a bit. And it looks like we've actually got packs in here. Uh, so that's definitely different from the Nordic ones. And uh, there is our limited edition. Uh, it's Yaya Torre, and he looks a bit damaged. That is annoying. You can see the corner's really bent. So, of course, you can choose to send these cards back, and uh, Tops will replace them with their mint condition one. Um, but that is really annoying. It's, it's happened quite a lot on products this year, uh, in this collection particularly, uh, from this match tax. So... Hopefully the rest of these packs will write, although they're packed in quite tightly, so they might well not be. Uh, but yeah, and to these packs, they look exactly the same as the normal UK ones. However, uh, they're considerably thinner, and that is because they only contain six cards out of the usual ten. But you do get 12 packs in total uh, for the retail price of £10, so 73 cards uh, if you include the limited edition. And of course, £10 is also the retail price of the Mega Tins, uh, but they only contain 60 cards uh, to the 73 found in the ball tin. Uh, so you can see that comparison there. And also, another way in which the ball tin is considerably better is that uh, it guarantees you a gold limit edition. You don't have to do any of this faffing around with the limit edition odds, the ridiculous odds of 1 in 8 gold, uh, 1 in 4 silver, and 5 in every 8 bronze limit stations in the mega tins. In the ball tins, there's no messing around. You're guaranteed a gold limit edition. So that's why that's better. However, these are packaged a lot worse. With on both the ball tins I've opened, there's been considerable damage to a lot of the cards. Whereas in the mega tin, they usually package pretty well. And the mega tin is much more functional for just storing cards. You can easily store two decks of match tax side by side um, without being impinged. Whereas this, you can definitely only fit one in and it's very limited space. But overall, I would say go for the ball tin if you're willing to send the damaged cards back. Because other than those, it is much better value. Anyway, we'll get straight into this first pack uh, where we do start off with Corb. Of course, because we've got a lot of packs to get through. Uh, I won't be uh, going through every card. Anyway, we start off our first insert there. Uh, that is Neto and Cums of Ghent. And then we also have Cesc Fabregas and Osvaldo. And then that's a really weird Pro 11 card. You can see there, loads of different languages on the back. On the front it looks the same, but on the back. So, six cards in a pack and those weird Match Text Live cards. This product is quite bizarre. Uh, it looks to be some sort of international edition. Uh, but of course it was just found in a UK store, uh, so clearly they must have shipped them in. Anyway, Dimakalis as our next card, we've got Faisulin as well, and Proper Malamatch, Krachoyak star player, uh, Sergio Busquets and Julian Draxler as well. Of course the Champions League is about to return um, on Tuesday and Wednesday night, so that should be pretty good. We've got Dzeko there, of course he will be performing hopefully in this next round of the Champions League against Real Madrid. We've got Cells as well, and then Wendell and uh, Hilbert, the defensive duo of Bayer Leverkusen. And then we've got Evra, Lestien, and another dodgy match text live code. As we get into this next one, and oh, this one looks to be quite damaged. You can see the corners there, very bent, and uh, particularly on this first card. Uh, but Xhaka there, and then we've got Arteta captain, a Rodriguez star player. Roberto Lewandowski at 85 on his attack, and they've got Kisa as well um, to complete that pack. So uh, quite damaged there. 
and I wouldn't be surprised if we see more damage cards. Uh, Sommer is our next card, and then we do have Xabi Alonso and Mario Götze duo. Branislav Ivanovic, 88 rated there, and 7.5 million on his value. Watch out for him. Uh, we've got Gustavo as well, and Moreno there. As we get into this next one, and again, uh, the bent corners return. Um, this time, oh... It looks like we've got another Yaya Torre limited edition here. So we've got Thiago Silva, Maxwell, and then another one. Even more bent on this one, but still. That is a pretty awesome error to get. Two gold limited edition Yaya Torres in one bolt in. Uh, I can confirm that you're not supposed to get that. But, yeah, that is pretty weird. Um, anyway, pretty chuffed with that. Meza Urzil as well is our next card. So these tins just seem a bit dodgy, like bent cards all over the place, manufacturing errors, uh, all the rest of it. Yardless as well there. Uh, we've got company captain, James Rodriguez, star player of Real Madrid, of course considered the star player ahead of uh, stars such as Gareth Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, we then got another Rodriguez, this time Pedro, and Zoet as well, as well as another one of these international edition match checks live codes. And then we move on to this next one where we do find Kevin De Bruyne of Manchester City. We've got Saif as well. And then the Podolski and Bullets Galatasaray duo. Uh, basically there, Neuer, our highest rated base card. Maybe even our highest rated card of the opening so far. Uh, with 90 there on his defence. Then we've got Falk. Uh, Hodzic and another Ghent De Jago Mano match. I'm not sure if we pulled them a minute ago or not, but uh, we got Schneider as well, our star player there, Xabi Alonso, Lacadia. And now just three packs remaining. And you do actually usually find Hunter Clubs in these full tins. It'll be interesting to see if that Yaya Torre, the second one we got, uh, replaced that Hunter Club or not. Uh, we've got Han there off BMG, Ramos captain, Alcantara. Uh, then the Dinamo, Dinamo Zagreb, I should say, duo. Uh, Ramirez as well, of course, now uh, transferred over to China for £25 million, uh, which is definitely a good deal for what was not a first-team player for Chelsea. It just shows that the developing of the Chinese league could pose a threat to like uh, European football, which has been dominant for the last, well, basically since football began. Uh, anyway, we've got Cotrado. And then another limited edition. Oh my god, three limited editions in one bought in. This time it is Robert Lewandowski, who I don't think you can find anywhere else other than in the Lucky Packets at the moment. I'm not too sure, but I definitely haven't got any more of him. So that is a really awesome limited edition to get. And just to get a limited edition at all in one of those packs is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so three 90 rated limited editions in this opening. And that actually gets me thinking that uh, that second Yaya Torre we got might have just been the... Because you can see on the back here, you've still got the limitation odds. The uh, bronze limitation's one in 80 packs, silver's at one in 200 packs, and gold's one in 400 packs. So that Yaya Torre might have just been a one in 400 packs gold. It would have been quite a coincidence, but... Uh, Probably more likely to be fair that it was a manufacturing error. Anyway, that Lewandowski was definitely uh, just an insert limited edition card. Uh, we've got Digne there, Smolnikov, Veloso, and it looks like we haven't got a hundred club in this bolt in. So Marquisio as well, uh, Ribery, Alton top, and then we've got another uh, Match Tax Live code. So no hundred club. Now, if you saw my Nordic opening, then you will have seen I got 100 Club. And I did open another bolt in off camera where I got 100 Club. Also, plenty of other people are saying that they've got 100 Clubs in every single one they've opened. So clearly, we've probably had some sort of error, unless it's not guaranteed and it's just very likely. But uh, anyway, three limitations. It's just been a pretty bizarre opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do smash that thumbs up button. Of course, I'll see you next time.